This is Channel 58 from the Los Angeles Unified School District, KLCS in Los Angeles. Fantasy Forest at Santa's Village features 14 rides, a petting zoo, shops, and more. Santa's Village is closing next year, so this is the final season Santa and his friends will be at their home in the San Bernardino Mountains. Meet Arthur the Aardvark at a KCET Store of Knowledge location near you. On Saturday, September 27th, he'll be at Fashion Island, Newport Beach from 10 a.m. to 12 noon, and then at Montclair Plaza from 4 to 6 p.m. On Sunday, September 28th, he'll be at Glendale Galleria from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., and then at Santa Monica Place from 4 to 6 p.m. Don't miss your chance to meet Arthur the Aardvark at KCET Store of Knowledge. What's coming up next? It's Barney and Friends. You're in PTV Park, right here on KCET Los Angeles. Presentation of Barney and Friends on KCET is made possible by the following. <laughs> Chef Boyardee Dinosaur Pasta supports PBS Kids TV. Share some family memories at Adventure City with Nine Rides, a petting farm, creative play areas, and entertaining shows for all throughout the day. The little theme park for the whole family, open Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, and select holidays. Funding for Barney and Friends is made possible in part by Kimberly Clark, makers of Huggies diapers, baby wipes, and training pads, proud to support the development of happy babies. Chucky e. Jesus! What? With additional funding from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. Okay, she's supposed to walk Sean and me home today, and I asked her to bring our dog along so you could all see him. Your dog? You didn't tell me your dog would be walking home with us. Why? Is something wrong with that? Uh, no. 
uh, I just wouldn't want your dog to get all wet in the rain. Well, here comes the rain. I'm afraid of big storms. I'm not. I'd feel better if Barney were here. Oh, hi, hey, kids. Oh, 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 it's good to see you. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Barney, I'm so glad you're here. The storm scares me. Oh, don't worry, man. It's all right. Yeah, everybody's afraid of something at some time. Oh, well, sure, Derek. But sometimes things that are scary are really nothing to be afraid of. You're <laughs> right, Barney. That storm wouldn't be so bad if all the raindrops are gumdrops. Oh, <laughs> see how easy it is? <laughs> Now, what would we sing if there was a snowstorm outside? <laughs> if all the snowflakes were candy bars and milkshakes, oh, what a snow that would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. If all the snowflakes were candy bars and milkshakes, oh, what a snow that would be. <laughs> Then let's show that rain we're not afraid of it. Oh. If all the rain drops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Oh, boy. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Oh, 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 oh. If all the rain drops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Oh, oh I love that rain song. Rainstorm sure would be yummy if they're like the one in the song. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but this one has thunder and lightning. Don't worry, Kathy. We're safe here inside. Whenever a lightning flashes, it always makes a thunder boom after it. See, there's the lightning flash. And pretty soon we'll hear the thunder. Ooh. There's the thunder, just like nature planned it. <laughs> it still sort of scares me. It sure's a lot of light and sound. But I bet we can make a bigger storm in here. That oh. sounds like fun. Oh. I'll make the lightning. It will make the thunder. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. oh thunderbird. <laughs> Here's a tambourine for you, Barney. Oh, thanks, Kathy. I have my rolling thunder. Let's scare the storm outside with our own storm inside. Okay. okay. Someone will fix the lights soon, but sometimes being in the dark is fun. Think of all the nice things that happen in the dark. I like to listen to the crickets chirping at night. Sure. I like to study the moon and stars when it's dark. <laughs> and we couldn't see fireworks shows if it was always light out. My mommy taught me a Filipino nursery rhyme that I sing to my dollies when I'm afraid of the dark. Ooh. Can we hear it, man, please? Please. Sure. Oh. Can I say
good. That was a very <laughs> pretty song, man. Thanks, Derek. Maybe darkness isn't so bad after all. It's just that sometimes we think we see scary things that aren't really there. Well, I hope I'm not really seeing that big shadow on the wall over there. Oh, oh, oh. It's coming towards us. Ooh. I'm not afraid of a big old shadow, even if it does look like a monster. <laughs> a monster! Barney! Barney, I'm afraid of this storm in the dark oh. and the shadows on the wall. <laughs> we saw your shadow and thought you are a monster, baby Bob. I wasn't really afraid. See, we got scared about nothing. We thought we saw something bad, and it turned out to be our friend. Uh -huh. I remember Teddy used to be afraid of a shadow on our bedroom wall. But then my mommy showed me it was just a shadow from a tree wind blowing in the wind outside my window. Yeah, shadows can't hurt us. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes those big, scary shadows are made by little things and they don't have to be scary at all if we just understand what makes a shadow we won't be scared by all the shadows on the wall at all we won't be scared by all the shadows on the wall <laughs> a little bitty thing can make a great big shadow if the light shines on it just right that's right <laughs> See, most shadows are made by things that can't hurt us. I just remembered there's a flashlight in the science center. You guys get the sheep from the trunk. I have an idea for a game we can play in the dark. Oh, okay. great. Oh, I love games. Oh, boy. <laughs> How do we play this game, Derek? Just like Barney says, most scary shadows can't hurt us. So, let's see who can make the scariest shadow. Okay. What is that, Sean? Yeah, that's a pretty weird shadow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. It's the Mother Goose doll from the bookshelf. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty creepy, man. Uh-huh. No way I want to meet that in person. You mean this big, oh, ugly stick horse? Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I've got an idea for a scary shadow. Oh. That is scary, Derek. It looks like a big dog. A dog? Where? She just said it looks like a dog. Does that scare you, Sean? Uh, no. Why would a dog scare me? I was just surprised when Kathy said that. <laughs> what are you making the shadow with, Derek? This bookie shadow belongs to our Billy Goat Puppet. Oh. <laughs> I'm not afraid of shadows anymore, Barney. Oh, that's good. 
good, Baby Bob. <laughs> but will you still be afraid of monsters, Baby Bob? Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stop, Sean. You look too <laughs> scary. Ooh, what a face. <laughs> oh, hey. The power's back on. Yay. 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 Sean was getting me the creep. Ooh, do all of you believe in monsters? Nah, monsters aren't real. Yeah, they're only in the stories. Maybe so, but sometimes the thought of them makes me scared. Oh. Well, let's make monsters not scary. Hey. Sure, we can imagine funny, silly monsters, ones <laughs> that would be fun to play with. That's a great idea, Min. Why don't we have a silliest monster contest and see who can make or be the funniest monster of all? I have just the thing to help us. I've been looking in my Barney bag And found a lot of things Gizmos and gadgets and odds and ends And even some old strings Well, let's ask ourselves the question What can we make today? With imagination and the Barney bag We'll see what we can make today Yeah, see what we can make today <laughs> okay, everybody, let's make the silliest monster masks we've ever seen! <laughs> monsters you've ever seen. Oh, we sure are. <laughs> yeah. oh, but Barney, sometimes other things scare me too. Ooh. Like what, Baby Bop? Can I sing a song and tell you? Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, goody, 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 goody. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. Shopping with my mommy and Nana. Oh, what did you do, Kathy? I learned 
my phone number, my street's name, and the number of our apartment building. Mm. So now if I ever get lost, I can find someone to help me. Oh, great idea. It's good to talk with your parents or your grandparents or teacher about things you're afraid of, isn't it? Uh-huh. I used to be afraid of loud noises like fire engine sirens. But Daddy told me that sirens are helpful. They mean help is coming. My dad taught me not to be afraid of the doctor anymore. Oh, I'm afraid of going to the doctor. What did your daddy say to you? I'll show you all with the puppet show. Ooh. Man, why don't you help me out? Come oh, on, daddy. Great. Oh, puppet. And now the story of a boy named Derek who's afraid of going to the doctor starring Derek, that's me, and his dad. Played by me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Rex, I'm scared. Daddy is taking me to the doctor today. I'm afraid it will hurt. Okay, Derek, are you ready to go for your checkup? I don't want to go to the doctor, Daddy. I'm scared. Don't be afraid, Derek. Dr. Thompson just wants to help you. Do you remember when you took Rex to his doctor for a checkup? Yes, he was scared, too. But what did you tell him? I told him not to be afraid. Because the doctor liked him and wanted to keep him from getting sick. Well, Dr. Thompson feels the same way about you. But Rex had to have a shot, and it hurt him. Only for a little bit. Remember how he was playing as soon as we got in the car? Uh-huh. But will it hurt if Dr. Thompson has to give me a shot? A little, Derek. But you'll be playing with Rex as soon as we get home. Okay, Dad. I'll try not to be afraid of Dr. Thompson. Oh, yay! Yay! yay. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, boy. Come on, baby bop. Let's do a play to show how my mommy taught me not to be afraid of things under my bed. Oh, okay. Oh, great. And now the story of the little girl named Kathy and the alligator under her bed. She's Kathy, and I'm the pretend mommy. <laughs> 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 I can't sleep. I'm afraid, because there's a big alligator under my bed. Mommy, Mommy! What's wrong, Kathy? Did you have a bad dream? No, Mommy. I can't sleep, because there's a big alligator under my bed. Did you see it under there? No, because he'll get me if I look. Kathy, have you ever seen an animal go under your bed? Yes, Bobby goes under there all the time. Do you think our kitty would go someplace where an alligator lives? No. Why don't we look under your bed together to show you there's no alligator there? Okay. All right. Now, see? You're right, Mommy. No alligator. I won't worry about it anymore. <laughs> Yay! Oh, oh, thank oh, you. Very good. <laughs> I'm glad we talked about the things that scared us, Barney. Yeah, they're not so scary anymore. Oh, then why don't we sing a song about not being afraid of things? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs>
Really? Stop raining! Sean, there's my sister. And she brought my dog. Come on, everybody. I want you to see him. Oh, baby Bob and I will just stay in here and watch through the window. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, Barney. Barney, Ned's dog is pretty. Oh, he sure is, baby Bob. <laughs> oh, 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 don't you want to see Ned's dog, Sean? No, Barney, and I can't walk home with Min either. Oh, but your mom's expecting Min's sister to bring you home safely. I know, Barney, but I just can't walk with him if the dog is there, too. Why not, Sean? I didn't want to tell anyone that I'm afraid of dogs. Oh. I tried to pet one last week, and it scratched me. Oh, it's okay to be careful around strange dogs, Sean, but there are lots of dogs that are very gentle and fun to be with. Come look out the window at Min's dog. You'll be safe looking through the window. Look, Barney. It's a puppy. Oh, that's <laughs> right, Sean. See how the kids can play with him and hold him? He's being very gentle. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Look. Oh. Isn't he cute, Barney? Oh, he sure is. He's so sweet. Oh. What are you taking so long, Sean? I wanted you to see my puppy. I'm sorry, Min. I didn't want you to know that I'm afraid of dogs. Oh, you don't need to be afraid of him. He loves everyone. He does. Oh, he's so soft. <laughs> Would you like to pet him, Sean? I think so. Go ahead, Sean. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he loves you, Sean, <laughs> and I like him, too. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, you love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you? Sure. <laughs> yeah, and I'm glad I have friends who don't make fun of me when I'm afraid of something. Oh, that's what friends are for, Sean. Everybody's afraid of something sometime. <laughs> bye, 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 <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. When a storm frightens you, imagine the raindrops are gumdrops. Monsters aren't real, so have fun making silly, friendly monsters. <laughs> Use your imagination to have fun and chase your fears away. I love you. Funding for Barney and Friends is made possible in part... ...and other skills and tools. The Indians provided for their food, clothing, and housing. All of these things were created from the natural resources around them. Think of all the resources you've just seen. <laughs> 